here. Today we're going to talk about the Alpha Centauri digital synthesizer made by Centauri Corporation. Currently it's in playback mode playing a little summertime music. Try a few presets. And we'll talk some more about that as we go, but I'll uh, put this in the background. This is the Alpha Centauri, they call it the Studio Pro version, it's a five octave keyboard. It um, kind of held a unique place in the industry of early synthesizers in that it was one of the first systems, or maybe the first, to, to kind of be a, a standalone synthesizer that relied on an external computer, in this case an Apple II, to provide the uh, synthesis uh, engine and uh, a uh, kind of a user interface through the Apple keyboard. This is an Apple II plus uh, 64 kilobytes of memory uh, uh, in there. And the two cards here, the Mountain Computer uh, Company, uh, eight channels, eight stereo channels of 8-bit synthesis capability here. This came with the Alpha Centauri, again made by Mountain Computer. This is a parallel interface for the keyboard. And this is the floppy drive, the five and a quarter drive that was standard with the Apple. Um, so that's basically the system. This is a, an old analog TV uh, here for the uh, video that's converted here through a little converter box and provided the, um, the interface for the uh, user basically to visualize the uh, notes. Get a different preset here. Percussion organ. You notice the uh, as they play keys, they they move across and up as you go higher here. Just kind of a visual interface uh, uh, for the uh, operator. Down here is some information on the on the uh, the uh, various uh, attack, decay, sustain, the ADSR. Uh, So here's the pipe organ preset. Each of the presets is represented by a number here on the Apple keyboard. Uh, the way these are set up is there's a, a percussion envelope and waveform and a, uh, a primary uh, envelope and waveform uh, to support each of these presets. And as you select another preset it loads here and these are the uh, ADSR registers for the percussion primary that you can set up here uh, through various key commands. Um, as I mentioned, the Mountain Computer card set supports eight simultaneous waveforms, uh, stereo each. And uh, in a later version, this is the, the operating system, so to speak, here for this mode here is called Alpha Plus, uh, Alpha Plus version 2. And um, another version is called Metatrack that came a little later from the Centauri group. Metatrack uh, was more a performance-oriented uh, uh, system. These presets would pretty much change instantaneously. Uh, and also in there they had an ensemble mode where you could assign multiple presets to a key hit. Whereas right now we're getting two, a percussion and a primary per key. The ensemble mode you could assign multiples up to say eight uh, eight note polyphony to each key. Um, so that that was Metatrack which again is another system that came out from uh, Centauri. Basically it was a 16 track record and performance uh, capability. Alpha Plus which is running now uh, was a kind of complementary. This this Alpha Plus lets you generate waveforms. It's, it's primarily an additive synthesis approach. Uh, you could build up various uh, waveforms and assign them to the presets. You could use sine, square, sawtooths, or arbitrary waveforms that you could then additively combine uh, to make various uh, uh, note files. This is a velocity sensitive keyboard for the piano here. Um, so we've, we've talked about the, uh, the hardware. Um, Again, it's a, a, a five-octave keyboard. Uh, was 
quite capable at the time and uh, just wanted to, I think, give you a, a quick overview there of, uh, of what, what uh, came from the Centauri group back then. And it's, uh, I think, just nice to see it um, still, still working. These are um, these hand controllers that will control vibrato, uh, other effects that, that were also part of the system. Uh, so that's just a quick run through. Those are demo recording, a uh, demo uh, uh, LP disc that came in a magazine insert that uh, was also showed off a lot of the capability. And I uh, maybe we'll play that in another uh, session. And there's certainly a lot of depth uh, to go through here. And uh, the Centauri manual is quite substantial. <laughs> and this came with the system. A lot of details, a lot of capability that we uh, just barely touched on. So that's it for now. We'll talk to you later.